You can totally hear Rambo in the background. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. So as you can see by the title, I am talking about our debt. I posted last month about how my husband and I have been paying off our debt and a lot of people actually really like the post so I wanted to do a video so I could talk a little bit more in detail about what we actually did and we did it and yeah. I also did a follow up video on how we were preparing to pay off all of our debt because it wasn't just an instant thing that we did, it was kind of like we did little things here, little things there. So let's get started. So a little bit of background about me. Both of my parents are really, sorry, I was toasting bread. Both of my parents are actually really good with numbers. My dad is an engineer. My mom used to be an accountant before she had me and my sister. My sister and I grew up learning the value of money very young. My mom taught us pretty much everything we know about money and they, they actually helped us tremendously. I was able to graduate college with no debt because of that. They helped me pay off my car in 11 months instead of the five years that it should be paid off by and I have really great credit now because of them and everything that they taught me. Shout out to you, mom! So after I got married, a lot of information came to me that I was not expecting. I had been asking my husband for pretty much since we got engaged about his debt and what what he has to pay off. So I knew he had student loans, I knew he had the house, I knew he had the car. That Those are the three things that I knew that he had to pay for. But he did not tell me that he had payday loans. And once I started taking over our finances, I was seeing how much he was paying for it. And then on top of that, his student loans were about twice as much as he told me. So I was ready to tackle this because I was already married. So I didn't have a choice. Just kidding, love you. So we started to tackle our debt, pretty much his debt. It was, when I say our debt, it's ours because we're married. As soon as he told me about those loans, I was like, you know what? This is a lot of money that we owe. We owe the house, we owe the car still, and he told me he had paid it off, but he didn't. And we owed his student loans, the two payday loans, and then he owed his mom money, and then there's, you know, he broke his car, so we owed money on that. And it was just, it was crazy. So this is what we did to fully combat our debt in two months. So I learned about this in February of this year, so February 2019. We started to pay things off probably the end of February and all throughout March. And then we also kind of just took a break in April and just went with however life was going. So these are the six things that we did to pay off $14,000 worth of debt. Well, the first thing that we did is that we set a budget and we tracked all of our expenses. I have been doing this even before we got married. But when I had finished high school, I started working. I was making minimum wage. I was taking home about $300 a paycheck. And then I got a new job. I was working as an independent contractor. I was taking home $1,000 per paycheck, which is a huge thing for someone only 18 years old. I felt like that was a lot of money. From when I got my car until I paid it off, I was able to put, pay it off in 11 months. But after I paid off my car, I didn't really have any other bills. So I had gas and then I I had, no, that's pretty much all I had. I, I just needed to pay for gas. My parents paid for everything else. I still would barely have any money by the time I got paid for the next paycheck. So I was like, where is all my money going. When I started to track, yeah, it's so organized. It says how much money, who I paid, what card I paid with. It's so organized. Guess where most of my money went? Did you guess food? Because you're probably in the same boat. I was spending like $500 on food and my mom made home cooked meals. So why do did I need to spend $500 on food? It was mostly just me, but sometimes I would pay for my sister. But I was like, I have home cooked meals for free at home. Why am I spending this much money? I could be spending on like clothes or something. But once I figured out where all my money was going, I was like, I, I'm cutting that out, I'm cutting that out, I'm cutting that out, I'm eating less here. I'm not buying my own groceries because my mom does that. I was able to save a lot of money doing that and just seeing where it was all going. So the second thing that we did, we moved all of our bills 
that we could over to my credit card. My husband has two credit cards. His limit isn't very high. He moved it to mine so we can put it all on one. On top of that, I actually get cash back on my cards. I have 2% for food and gas and then 1% for anything else. I put everything on there. I think our normal bills that we put on the card because you know not all of them can go is about 1500 so I get like $15 back every month. It really depends how much I actually spend. I use that card for more than just the bills. Yeah, so it could be actually anywhere between $30 and $50 really how much we're spending that month. If I'm making $15 cash back on a card, that $15 pretty much pays for Spotify and our Netflix, so we didn't really need to cut those things out. I love cash back. It makes me feel good. Even though it's like little amounts at a time, oh, I love it. The third thing that we did was we cut out everything that we didn't need or that we were like overspending on. I spent so much money on food and then together as a couple, we were still spending so much money on food. So for groceries, we are spending like $500 a month. For eating out, we were spending like $300 and we're only two people. So I'm like, why do we need to be spending this much money? I mean, we're, we're still working on it, let's be honest. We're still a little, a little overspending on food these days. We cut down our budgets about hundreds hundreds of dollars. I think we saved like three or 400 or 500 even on food and gas. My husband drives everywhere all the time. Now that we have Rambo, ever since we got him, he hasn't been driving around as much. We've been saving a lot on gas as well by not really going anywhere else. Number four, I know this is kind of like a pride thing and sometimes, even for me, it's still kind of hard to like, ask for help but that's what we did when i found out all about all these payday loans we we're starting to pay them off on our own and one was about 500 dollars, 550 dollars. the other one was about 800 by the time we like eight or nine hundred by the time we paid it off so we had those two and then his student loans are over seventy thousand. the house is i mean i don't really count the house i feel like that's just a regular bill we still had the car which is about 450 dollars we were just spending a lot of money each paycheck that my husband got he would pay 210 and some change for one of the payday loans and then 286 dollars the other one. He was spending about $500 every two weeks to pay off those loans that only paid off $60 of the principal. That was ridiculous. We paid one off. My husband and I both drive manual cars and not too long after that my husband, his clutch broke. He stepped on it and it wouldn't pop back out so he was pretty much driving in neutral the entire time while he was going to get his car repaired. I looked it up I was like oh you know a new clutch isn't that bad which was like $240 and the service was like $2,400 to pay off for the service to fix his clutch. I saw that bill and I sat there and I was like, we can never get a break. We paid $3,000 before we left for the honeymoon and then two months later I found out that my husband used his credit card for our honeymoon so that was another $3,000 that we needed to pay off and then we had just paid off the $500 loan and then my husband's clutch broke so $2,400 down the drain so by that time I was just like I'm I'm tired I don't want to waste money on interest so I'm going to ask my parents for help I don't want to pay this interest that interest would have been ridiculous and we wouldn't have been able to pay it off for at least two months I hate interest that's why I pay things in full or I pay things annually versus monthly because it's so much cheaper that's another thing do that it was too much so we asked for help that's also when i found out that my husband had asked his mom for money before we got married and everything so we actually we owed a lot of money on top of that so number five what we did is that we actually looked for discounts deals and loopholes I use Dosh. It changes a lot, so you just be careful. You can link your card once you swipe your card, and if that place is offering cash back, then they'll give it to you automatically. Overall, I was getting 1% on my card, 2% from Dosh, and then 3% from Yelp. So I got 6% back. That helped out a lot. There's other ones, there's like eBay, there's Honey, there's Drop, Dosh, there's Ibotta. All of my links that I actually have in the description below. So if you use my code, you can get $5 and I can get $5 on most of the apps. As far as the loopholes, if you have a really great tax accountant 
that knows their laws and knows exactly what you need to do to be eligible for a refund, then I highly suggest, you know, paying the money for the people who are good. So the ones who can get you the most back are usually going to be more expensive. But I mean, if you're paying zero dollars for five hundred dollar refund, but you pay three hundred dollars for a thousand dollar refund, I would say you're still winning. If you pay zero and you get five hundred, then you get five hundred. And then if you pay three hundred, but you get a thousand, then you still take home seven hundred. I suggest doing your research. I feel like it's so worth it to have a really good tax accountant. Number six, we first paid what was easy to pay and what was fulfilling to pay and then the highest interest. A lot of people probably don't recommend paying anything besides the highest interest because you do accrue a lot more. If I were to pay the highest interest, it would have been $10,000 and I can't pay that in one sitting. We paid off what was easy first. So the $500 one was easy because I actually, I saved more than $500 a month by myself before I got married. So that was easy to pay off, that was done. Oh, by the way, we also didn't save anything at all for the two, three months that we were trying to pay this off. So all of our paychecks were being used to pay all of this off. We haven't put anything in until this past paycheck. So today is May 14th. I got paid on Friday, so my whole paycheck luckily went to our savings. I'm so happy. That number has not increased for three months. So we paid the $500 one first. When my husband broke his clutch, I asked my parents for money. They gave us $3,500 to pay off clutch, which was like about $2,400, I think $21 because we got a discount. And then my mom gave us extra money so we could pay off the other loan that my husband had. My husband also asked his mom for money, which was about $2,000. We had his car to pay off, which is about $5,500. So all of those together was about $14,000. $200. It's actually more because I didn't count our monthly bills for the loans. My husband was actually paying, like I said, about $500 for the loans per paycheck. That was in the month of February, and then I think he paid it once again in March, and then we paid it off. So we, we actually paid more than, more than $14,000. It's been a ride! I wanted to do this video because yesterday was an exciting day and my camera died, so I couldn't, I couldn't film it. I had just submitted an application about three weeks ago, I think, for my husband for a new credit card, and he received a credit card that was about four times more than his credit limit for his other two cards. Four times more. I have been keeping such a close eye on both of our credit scores. Like I said, mine was pretty good. Um, it went down though after I got married and I just joke about that. It's not really because I got married. Right before we got married, we actually got our credit run by lenders because we were looking for a new house. We didn't get a new house. I don't even know why they ran our credit because we weren't really looking. But yeah, they ended up doing that. My credit went down about like 40 points just being run once. Don't do that. If you're not serious about looking for a house or you're not serious about you know getting money, then don't get your credit run because that 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 was deep. I was almost at 800. I'm at like 750 now. I've been keeping a close eye because my husband has been under 700 for a long time and then he had this whole fiasco with this thing going on at his work where he had to get checked and everything and then they they actually billed him when it was supposed to go through his work. So that lowered his credit score. We had to get that fixed right away. It went from like 600 to 500 and that was ridiculous. Ever since then, I have been keeping such a close eye on our credit scores. I'm still trying to learn about how to bring it up. My husband has been slowly, okay, actually not really, because right now it says it's one point lower than it was the past month, but I don't think it's fully up to date. And also the score on the card that he got, it's not the same, it was like 60 points higher. So I'm really hoping that's his actual score because that's what we need. We are thinking about looking for another house soon. It's just now that we have two dogs, we we really need a backyard because Rambo, our newest baby, is definitely an outside dog. Roxy could care less probably, but she loves staying in the car. This is a really great starter home, but you know, I'm kind of high maintenance. I, I've officially accepted it. <laughs> This wasn't like the full extent of what we did. This is what we did in the last two months. And that's how much we paid in the last two months. Besides our monthly bills, like I said. I love talking about things like this because I feel like 
not a lot of people talk about it and it's like really difficult to talk about it and I feel like it shouldn't be difficult because we all need help learning how to deal with our finances. I feel like if we keep the conversation going, we can get more people to share their stories, which a few have, and I'm really excited to share when they're ready because they're, they're pretty crazy. <laughs> really crazy. I would love to hear your stories because I know some of them are so crazy. Some of them could really help me out. There's a lot of things that I'm still learning and I don't know, but I feel like sharing this information will help you and it'll help me and it'll help everybody. So why not? But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So um, I want to keep doing videos like this, so please like it and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notifications so that you'll never miss a video when I post them. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you guys today. See ya, suckers! My dogs keep barking when I'm talking. Oh my gosh, my mom looks so funny to me. He looks like he's ice skating. But anyway, yeah.